here's my 2019, or maybe it's a 2020 PJ flatbed trailer. It's a 22 foot long trailer. Has a 20,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So it has two 10,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. It's been a great trailer, but I've had an issue with it that I've been neglecting for a while. And it's not an issue with the trailer at all, but uh, I took it through some woods or tall brush and things like I shouldn't have and pulled out one of the brake wires here. So thankfully all the brakes are wired in parallel. So I've been running with three brakes for the last year or so, but I figured it's finally time to fix the brake wire on this wheel here. So here's the issue right here. This is the backing plate and the wires go into a little grommet right there. And this wire got pulled out by something like I said, some of those that brush or woods and uh, broke off basically right at that grommet. So I'm hoping that when I take this apart, I'll be able to shove a wire through there again and uh, reconnect this. Hopefully it's an easy fix. Worst case scenario would be that that wire in there is not long enough and I'll have to replace the backing plate. But let's uh, get it torn apart and see what happens. I'm gonna get a jack out of here. If you're in the market for a toolbox, RKI makes an awesome box. This thing is heavy duty. It's got big, huge springs here for the hinges to hold it op the door open. Has a nice storage tray up top and uh, really nice locking mechanism and all that. So this is the last remaining DeWalt tool I have. So that's why I got this adapter here. I'm gonna try it on here with a five amp hour battery. Adds a little bit of height to it. So that's why I don't wanna do this with a bunch of tools. I went ahead and bought a bunch of new Makita tools because I just figured that much extra height and distance on a, you know, a uh, impact wrench or, um, you know, a Sawzall would just be a pain in the butt. See how much power it's got. And this should have oil in it. Ooh, a little drier than it probably should be. <laughs> That's not great. Yeah, even though this looks like a big, huge nut, you know, they're usually not even that tight. It's really that lock washer is what holds it in place from spinning off, not so much the torque. And you can see there's a groove there. 
this washer should come out yep and it sits in that groove that one's just finger tight So it looks like there's plenty of wire stubbed along here. Just gotta get back to it over here where it goes through the backing plate. All right, I need to get this shoe off right here. something Well, there's our two wires after I remove this uh, little clippy plug here. Don't really love how that holds those wires in place, but I guess it's all right. So now I just got to reconnect these two and figure out where I want to do that at. I'm almost thinking I'm going to have to cut the wire here and run a new wire to go through this thing again. All right, so I went ahead and cut that wire and get it stripped here. Same with this end. It's got some mangled up pieces on it, so I'm going to strip it back a little ways. Mm. 
Mm. All right. Well, that's a wrap for all the wiring, so it should be all good to go. Oh, hell, there's another little nick right there. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Gonna fix it. Might as well fix it right. Okay, now we're happy. Let's get this thing back together. Hmm. Try another way. What if we hook it first and then try to put it back there? This might be crazy enough to work. All right, it's hooked. Down there. Oh yeah, maybe that's how you do it. Woo! So that lip right there is where the seal rides. So you wanna get that clean. It's got a bunch of brake dust and stuff on it. Okay, so basically it's a little big.
It's that washer with the uh, groove in it. And nut number one. And basically from what I'm reading, it says tighten this one down like wrench tight while spinning the hub. So I'd call that wrench tight. And then it says back it off. And go finger tight. Ow. So there's finger tight. It says don't spin the hub. And we're going to put our washer on. Go ahead and knock back some of these tabs. I'm gonna knock two back to go on the old lock nut, uh, the, the inside lock nut. And final step is reinstall this seal. cap had a nice o-ring on it i heard they make replacements of these that are metal or aluminum or something instead of being plastic which would be nice all right let's give it a test here <laughs> if i come up here pull this that means the brake should be set right now Oh yeah, that's got a break. Woohoo! We fixed it. Now let's see if we put this back in. If it loosens up, there we go. Turning. Something different about these, these are 18 ply tires, and uh, these wheels and tires are heavy. This center dish here is about 3 8 inch thick solid steel, and it actually bears on the hub here. It doesn't bear on all of the lug nuts like most trailer tires and wheels and tires do. So if you look closely, you can see it's actually bearing on the hub right there and the uh, lug nuts don't really take any of the load. And the nuts themselves actually have a washer that spins like that to get the proper torque down on these. Whereas most trailers have like a conical lug nut that goes into a dished rim and that's what centers up the wheel on the hub and also what carries all the load.
All right, well, got that all fixed up. Been avoiding that project for a long time. Nice uh, wet, rainy morning here. Figured it was perfect time to get it done. So that'll be nice to have all four brakes working again. And we'll get this trailer on the road. Thanks for watching.